Hey, this is for all of my wholesalers. I want to show you guys how you can do larger deals. Okay. And in this video, I'm going to break down how you can do larger deals. Okay. By going outside of the single family niche and jumping into some multifamily deals. Okay. Which will increase. Okay. Just because the, the purchase price is more expensive, you'll be able to, you know, fatten your pockets with a larger fee. So let's get into this. Hey, great day guys. It's your boy, Swan Lamar Belcher. You know, I am the real estate guy. I'm the wholesaler. I'm the landlord, whatever you like to call me here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, we hold over about 40 properties and we've flipped hundreds of houses over the last, you know, four or five years. So today I wanted to talk about one thing that I'm implementing. Uh, well, actually I implemented it last year and it's really starting to show its face. Okay. Now there's three different parts to this, you know, real estate deal finding kind of business. Okay. Now you have to market for motivated sellers a needs analysis, acquisitions, acquire the deal. Okay. And then you have to, you know, find the money or sell the property so you can actually make the money. So you got marketing acquisitions and dick and dispositions. That's your full on business. Now, in order to get bigger deals into the mix, it starts with marketing. Okay. So if you want to do bigger deals, you need to go back to your marketing. Um, if you look into my dollar, okay, we use Zencall. Okay. I'll drop the link. We use Zencall and I can look into my dollar and find out how well we're doing today. Okay. Um, I can look at my podio and which is my CRM and look and see how well we're doing. Most of this business is always going to come from um, 90 days previous to today. Okay, so what I mean is if you have a lack of deal flow today, you need to look back at your numbers from 90 days. It's something that you did 90 days ago or something that you did not do 90 days. That's the problem. Most of the time you wanna start with the marketing. The best way to find, you know, apartments off market is to pull an apartment list. Yes, that's simple, okay? I get mine from list source. Don't put a bunch of filters on it apartments duplex to 50 units you know if you feel like you want to be big boy and do more than that great but i pulled a list of apartments um five units to 50 units in all five of my surrounding counties now great your county might be big and huge and luscious and pretty i get it but pull the surrounding counties as well so i get guilford county forsyth alamance randolph and davidson county because i want to capture everybody in that circle you know you'll you'll be surprised how many mom and pops are right on the edge you know of your main city you know and those mom and pop investors are really the ones that were you know that we're looking for those hedge fund buyers those ones that have a you know that have a thousand properties they're probably not who we're looking for we're looking for those people with you know one to ten units who might be having some difficulty and we can come in and save them for whatever reason uh, so they can continue to you know to perform at their best Okay. So pull your list from listsource.com and I don't, I don't have any filters as far as the last purchase date. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to have any equity, um, you know, percentage. I don't want you to have no filters. The only thing at the end I want you to do is uh, rule out any properties owned in a trust because they're super hard to skip trace and get phone numbers for them. Um, and then also I want you to make sure they have a mailing and property address so we can actually find the seller. Okay. And get accurate information for them. And I also want you to include all properties in LLCs or, corp or corporations and even in personal names. Okay. That's going to get you, you know, first, that's first going to get you in front of those people. Okay. Now, great. Now that you got your list, if you're a part of the, uh, of the Tempta community, the This Is Me Taking Action community, you actually have the three cents lead. So just go to the drive and you can get that login to get that. But if not, you need to join, you're tripping. Um, so next, once you got your list, okay, it's all about how you market to them. Now understand that people that have multifamily, they're a little more sophisticated in the real estate realm rather than you know owners who just have single family because clearly they bought multifamily. They bought it for some kind of future investment, okay? Now, some guys will like house hack a, a two or three or four unit, but when you get above five, typically they want it to invest on purpose, okay? So they're gonna be smarter. So the, the ringless voicemail, you know, it's not necessarily the best tool, you know? The cold call, maybe, okay? But really sophisticated investors, they want to 
um, they want to get a sophisticated type of marketing, direct mail, online ads, you know, hit them up on Facebook or LinkedIn. Okay. Something really personable, like a really nice direct mail piece, not just anything. So you want to attract them because they're, they want a quality life. So why would they want to respond to your, your ringless voicemail that cost you three cents to drop <laughs> they don't want that spammy content like that uh so number two make sure you watch how you're marketing to those people and number three make sure you're prepared to have the hard conversations with them now they're going to be an easy sell because you know they're investors as far as the numbers go that's going to be the easiest part you're an investor, Mr. Seller. I'm an investor. What would you buy this property for? You know, you're an investor. You know what I'm looking for. What am I going to have to address right up front? You know, you're an investor. I'm an investor. What do you think it's going to appraise for after I get the rents up where they should be? You know, so they are easier to deal with in the process of negotiating, you know, but you have to start with the marketing first. Okay. Now I promise you, um, I just locked up an eight unit, uh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I closed on a four unit. And then, uh, two months ago, I actually assigned a seven unit made 40 grand off of that deal. The eight unit, it looks like I'm a, I'm gonna do about the same on that one. And then the four unit, I made about 30 grand on that one. So I'm not talking junk to you. I'm just trying to help you go from making $3,000 a deal to $30,000 a deal. And it's all about what you know. Now, if you found this information valuable, okay, subscribe, like, watch the next video because you need to know more. Let's get into it. Peace.